Hi there friends, welcome back. I want to ask you a question. Do you see astral spiders? Are you afraid of astral spiders? Let's talk about astral spiders. There's many types of them and you can see them when you astral project, when you prepare for astral projection, when you are in the hypnagogic phase of your sleep cycle, when you are in sleep paralysis, when you are dreaming or in psychic visions. Spiders are everywhere in the spiritual realms. I've seen a very interesting spider the other day. It was crawling down my wall, black spider, and when it saw that I was seeing it, it scurried away. But when it was going away, I could see the human head on its back. I think the spider was connected to a person. And I'll explain a bit later why. But that was a strange experience. And then one day I was approached by a brown spider and the spider was so friendly. You could actually talk to the spider. It lifted its legs and revealed its belly and there was a little mouth and it had a V-shaped mouth that smiled at me. How cool was that? There are many different types. There are spiders that eat your negativity. There are spiders that can enter your dreams and create a dream situation for you to release the stresses that you sit with in daily life. So you can release that negativity so it can be cleaned. They eat that, but it's not a bad thing. There are spider goddesses, really. Spider gods, but mostly goddesses because spiders are connected with feminine spiritual energy. The ancients had a special place for spiders in their spiritual worldview. The Sumerians had the spider goddess Utu. The Mayans had the great goddess of Tuatuhuacan, the spider goddess. Then their spider grandmother from the Navajo and Hopi nations. The Greeks had the goddess Arachne, who was actually turned into a spider by Athena. In the Norse tradition, you have the Norns weaving the web of time. There are many more. You can see spiders in the Nazca lines. The Kupsanik people also have a spider goddess. There are many. There are spider goddesses and gods in African traditions. It's everywhere. Theory goes, there are people who believe that they can gain wisdom through this sort of gnosis, spider gnosis taking you through a process why, where the illusions around you will disappear. We live in a world where we are blinded by Maya, the veil. We live in an illusion. We live in a place where we can only see what we see, but we cannot see past the illusion. According to these spiritual people, if you are influenced by the venom of the spider goddess, you can see through that illusion transcending space and time, seeing how everything, future, past, present, is connected in this web. And it's only through this spider wisdom that you'll be able to properly receive that wisdom and that vision of who we really are and where we are. So what does it actually mean when you see a spider in the astral? There can be many different meanings, depending on where you see the spider and how you see the spider. The story I told in the beginning, where the spider was connected to a person, could be a thought form of that specific person, but I believe it has to do with the tree of death. I feel tests come to us through people. In the Kabbalistic tradition, you have the tree of life in the front and at the back you have the tree of death. The tree of life bring in positivity and the tree of death bring your tests and the negativity. But both are there to push you forward and let you make you grow. You can't grow without challenges. So these spiders come from the tunnels of that tree of death to test you. It could be that. So they would link to a person and a person will reveal a test. It could be that. I'm not saying it is that, but it could be that. Spiders can connect to your dream world. They can weave in your dreams. They can create situations where, by helping you, release negativity so that they can clean it, so that you can 
Let go of some of your burdens. They are part of the spiritual or astral ecology, just like insects are in the physical world. Without insects, you, the world will probably not exist. We will all die. They have a very important function. And the same with these spiritual spiders and spiritual insects. They would be cleaners mostly. They would make sure that whatever is around you that are negative will be cleaned. There are many ways, but don't be afraid of spiders. They're actually there, mostly, to help you. So some spiders will be there to eat your negativity. But most spiders they are extremely friendly. They will never harm you. On the rare occasion, you will find a spider that will influence someone to test you. That is very rare. When you see a spider, be happy. When you see an astral spider, it means that your spiritual abilities or your psychic abilities are opening up. It is a sign, in a way, that the veil is thinner for you now. You'll be able to see better. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about astral spiders and your experiences. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, that would make me happy. Until we meet again, keep well, bye bye, and remember, always keep an open mind.